Hi guys, yes, ask a Carlos Tata to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today we're making a Napoleon-like dessert in Greek. They call it milfe because that is the French word, which I'm probably <laughs> I'm probably pronouncing wrong, which translates to a thousand layers because puff pastry is known for all of the layers that it makes once it bakes. It's just so light and airy and delicious. We're gonna make it's basically a dessert that we're gonna make family style. You can you can definitely change it to make individual little trifles if you're serving this for a party. So easy to make. It's layers of puff pastry with a delicious vanilla cream in between and more puff pastry on top. I'm gonna to show you a very easy way to make it. Let's get started. Okay, we're gonna start off by making the pastry cream or the creme patisserie as it's known in France and in most of Europe. We're gonna start off with four cups of whole milk. And then I have one and a half cups of sugar or 375 grams. I'm gonna put most of it in here. This is gonna help keep the milk from burning. Um, this is a nice little um, pastry trick. I'm gonna put it over medium heat so it can get nice and hot while I prepare the rest of the ingredients. So I've made this so many times. So we're gonna need just the yolks, eight egg yolks. I'm gonna save the whites to make cookies later on. Okay, then I'm gonna add the remaining sugar to the egg yolks and a half a cup of cornstarch. The cornstarch is the thickening agent and you definitely need it. That is 80 grams. So we're just gonna mix this all up. But before we do, I'm also gonna add a half a cup of heavy whipping cream to help this blend easily and to add some richness. And we're just gonna mix it all up until it's smooth. Okay, so once the milk is scalding hot, you wanna pour some of it into the egg mixture just to temper them. This is gonna help them be, stay nice and smooth instead of turning into scrambled eggs once we put them back in. And now we're gonna cook this stirring constantly until it thickens, and it's gonna to start to thicken as soon as it boils. All right, so I thought I was recording the vanilla and everything getting put together at the last, uh, the last few minutes, but I wasn't, so I'll try to look for some older footage because I've made pastry cream over and over again. But I'll tell you, once it thickens, take it off of the heat and then stir in three teaspoons of pure vanilla extract, whisk that all together and then transfer it to a bigger bowl, cover, it, cover the top with plastic wrap and let the plastic wrap touch the pastry cream so that way a skin doesn't form on top and it'll stay nice and smooth. Once it comes to room temperature, you could pop it in the freezer so it can cool quicker or you can make this two days ahead of time and keep it refrigerated. It is gonna thicken as it sits and you might have to lighten it up a little bit later on, but we'll get to it when we get to it. I'm gonna set this aside and now we're gonna get to our puff pastry. Okay, so here I have two sheets of puff pastry. This equals one pound or almost 500 grams. You just wanna open them up. These are sold in the freezer section of the supermarket. Just take them out about 15, 20 minutes before you're ready to use them and they'll thaw out really quickly. I'll just cut them into strips. I'm not at all worried about the shape. These are kind of cracked and everything. We are actually gonna bake these until they're perfectly cooked and then once they cool, we're gonna crumble them because we're making the easy version. This is one of the most delicious desserts that I've ever had and I think you guys are gonna love it too. Thank goodness I don't need this puff pastry for something else. I don't know what happened to it. Seems like somebody dropped them while they were frozen. Okay, so this, this is gonna puff up a lot in the oven, so just go ahead and pierce each one of the pieces with, um, with a fork all around. And if you wanna put these on two separate baking sheets, you can do that. I just try to minimize cleanup. Then you're just gonna dust them with some powdered sugar on top, just a light coating. My oven is preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. These are gonna bake for about 30 to 45 minutes 
or until they're perfectly puffy and golden and cooked all the way through. I am gonna start to check on them at the 30 minute mark. And if I need to rotate the tray a little bit, I will do that. If they start to cook and brown a little bit too much, I'll even take them out. And sometimes what you have to do is let them cool and kind of start crumbling them. And then the center might still be a little bit uncooked. That happened to me last time. All I did was I crumbled all of them, which you'll see me do it in a little bit. And then I just baked the center another time. The center pieces, they were kind of doughy for another 15, 20 minutes, crumbled those, and it was easy peasy. You can do this step also a day or two ahead of time and just store them in containers or freezer bags. And this is just such an easy dessert to make and put together. And I'm telling you, it, everyone's gonna love it. So while this is all happening, I'm just gonna clean up and then we're gonna move on to the next step. Okay, so my puff pastry sheets were ready in 45 minutes, but every oven differs. Once they come out of the oven, they should be beautifully golden all around. Let them cool so that way they're not burning hot once you start to crumble them. About 15 minutes, 20 minutes max is all they need. Then go ahead and begin to crumble them up. You're gonna find that some of them are gonna have a like a leathery piece in the center, just like this one right here. Just save it on the side because we are gonna bake it so it can get nice and toasted and we don't waste anything. Just continue to crumble the rest and then whatever's left over, put it on a baking tray and bake it for another like 10 minutes or so or until it's nice and golden and toasted. And then once that cools, go ahead and add that to the, to the crushed up um, puff pastry sheets. Some ethnic stores, Middle Eastern and Mediterranean stores, sell um, already cooked um, puff pastry sheets as like a cookie. You can crumble those if you have those on hand, but there's nothing like making your own. It just tastes so fresh, but if you wanted a quick fix and you have that nearby, you can just use those, and then this dessert will be ready um, in literally no time. Then you're just gonna, you're just gonna wanna lightly dust some powdered sugar on top and set it aside. In my mixer over here, I combined one cup of heavy whipping cream. You wanna make sure it's nice and cold straight out of the refrigerator. I put two tablespoons, two heaping tablespoons of confectioner sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Whipped it all up just to make some homemade whipped cream. This is gonna lighten up that pastry cream because that pastry cream is gonna be a little bit dense. And let me go and get it so we can mix that all up and put the whole dessert together. All right, so the pastry cream is nice and cold, but you see how it thickens and it just, just gets, it's not smooth right now, basically. You can put it in the mixer, take the whipped cream out and put it in the mixer and just lighten it up. Or you can just take a whisk like I'm gonna do and just do it by hand. Totally up to you. The mixer will definitely make it smoother, so it just depends um, if you're making a YouTube video like I am and you don't wanna take that extra step right now, <laughs> then that's fine. But if you're home and you do have time, whip it up in the mixer. You're gonna be glad you did when it's really nice and smooth. If you have a hand mixer, that would be good too. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this whipped cream and I'm just gonna fold it in and it's gonna really lighten it up. Okay, I have a nine by 13 inch baking pan, but you can definitely make little trifles out of this and just have them ready to go so your guests can just pick one up at the party and you don't have to worry about them digging into um, a big pan. But if you wanna serve it family style, you just put it all in a big nine by 13 inch baking pan like I am and just forget about it, let everyone help themselves. I am gonna sweeten this a little bit more because puff pastry is not sweet at all. There's just a little bit of of powdered sugar is just gonna make it lightly sweetened and just so good. If you want to, you can sprinkle some cinnamon on here too. If you wanna put some fruit in here, you can do a layer of bananas or a layer of berries. That would be nice too, just you know, take it to the next level. If you wanted to add some caramel to it, some ground cardamom, you can just uh, flavor this in so many different ways. Have to remember to save a little bit of this because I'm going to show you how to do a trifle too. If you want this to be a little fancier, you could pipe this in a bag and then and then pipe it out, and you'll just have a little bit more of a decorative cream in here. You could do the same in the trifle, and then take the remaining puff pastry crumbles and just sprinkle them over top. I like having some big pieces, some small pieces. 
It looks beautiful. And there you have it, a tray of Napoleon or Milfei, whatever you want to call it. Let me show you how to make um, the trifles, which is basically the same thing. You get these pretty little trifle glasses. If you're having a big party and you're using disposable cups, clear cups would be best for this because you want every single layer to show. How easy is that? So just like that, this dessert is ready and now it's time for the taste test. I think I'll dig into the little trifles. Look at how creamy they are, how flaky the puff pastry is. Mmm. Has to be one of my all-time favorite desserts. Anything with vanilla pastry cream, I just cannot resist. This thing is so delicious. I can say, on, I can honestly say, that this is even better than a Napoleon, you know, the fancy pastry that is found in bakeries. This is way better because it's lighter. It's so much more easy to eat and it's so simple to put together. You can serve a huge crowd with this. Most of it can be made ahead. I hope you guys give this a try. The exact measurements are going to be on the website, www.dimitrasdishes.com. Let me know how are you making it. Are you making little individual trifles or are you making it in the big pan, family style? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. I hope you guys give this recipe a try and I'll be back here next time with another one, another delicious recipe worth sharing. Yes, us.